Right, hello there, um, welcome back. Um, my viewer friend, B-Man from Canada, uh, made a joke on one of the videos that I should shave with the uh, Bic One blade and that I'd be cut up terribly in that. And uh, I said I should possibly go for like the cheapest blade I could find and he said he wouldn't do that to me. But what I have done is I have bought the cheapest blades I can find. So this is a pack of five blades and it cost me 30p, so that's six pence each. Now for you B-Man in Canada, that is 11 cents. I'll look that up before filming this. And as you can see, I've got a bit of growth here. So I'm gonna see if I can uh, shave with it. This might be a bit of a long video, I suspect, because they're not designed to be the easiest of things to shave with. So I'm gonna moisten the beard slightly. Just some water. Then I'm gonna put my prep on. Now, using the same prep I normally would, because otherwise it's not really fair testing. There we go, so got that on, wet the hands again, and we'll give it a good rub. There we go, so I thought I would uh, give it at least some chance. I'll prep my beard before I actually look at these razors, see how they're getting on. So. 6P razors, let's see how they are. So, here we go. So, we is a very basic, it's all plastic. What plastic is it? Doesn't say, I'd imagine it's polypropylene or it might even be polystyrene. It's got a blade cover on it. I know some people, uh, their blade covers even from the manufacturers, is more than 6P. Now, the back of the blade, it's not what you'd call open architecture, but there is only the one cutting blade. So it is actually pretty open in that sense because all the hair will come out there. There's obviously no lubricating strip. The guard for trying to stretch it is the world's smallest guard, it appears. And there is no flex. So it's all gonna be about style. Okay, so this is going to remind me a bit of a DE shave in that sense. There's no weight in the handle, which is going to make it a little bit harder because often use the weight of the handle on a DE razor. There we go. So, let's see, B man, are we going to get blood spurting everywhere? How's it going to go? So. Start camera side, as it were. Slowly, slowly. Now notice I'm going with the grain to start with because I'm putting very little trust in this blade. Now, the good news is, it is shaving reasonably well. Now, I'm putting next to no pressure on this, because I'm pretty sure that's when I'll dig it in. No, maybe not on the nose just yet. Let's go for the other side. Give the nose a little bit more time to soak it up. Because what you want is you want nice expanded hair follicles because they cut easier. The more compacted they are, the harder they are to cut and the more likely they are to tug. So, do it without even looking. Don't 
definitely not a quick shave. Got to be really careful with this. Oh, went against the green to start with there. Let's not do that. Right, give it a moisten up again. Now the difficult bit. Now the other thing to bear in mind, these multi-blade razors, they do what's called hysteresis. So they grab the blade, they grab the hair with the first blade, it doesn't fully cut it through and it tugs on the hair slightly. This pulls it out from the root slightly and then the next blades are supposed to chop it up closer and then when the hair retracts because of there's no, nothing pulling it out anymore, it's supposed to give you a really close shave. Okay, now, that's as much as I'm willing to shave like that at the moment. Let's give it a go, a wash off it. Right, so, there is quite a lot missing. There's no blood as yet. Yeah, you can hear where it's not done it, so. What I think that calls for is what you're doing in DE shaving is often there'll be like a second pass or even a third pass. So give it a go again. There we go. So, lather it up again. Now it's harder to lather because there's no hairs to help push the air around in it. Well, little, smaller hairs. Right, we'll go again. Right, while I've got a nice thick cloth, they're going to do the nose area again.
Now I can really feel the burn on that side. Right, that's it, that's as far as I'm willing to go. Getting quite red now. Obviously taking the epidermis off quite a bit. Give it a wipe down. Now, I'm feeling relatively smooth, but quite a bit of burn. Quite stingy down here, and it's not that smooth. So, yeah, out. And so there we go. That is the cheapest razor that I could find. Clearly, I can shave, it shaves okay. You can still hear where well, it's not totally there, and I reckon that's because it's a single blade. Might be better if you have a twin blade, you might get a little bit of hysteresis where it pulls the hair out and then chops it closer. Um, but if you have to, you can do it, but I think I might prefer to actually be unshaven than to actually shave with one of these again. So um, there you go, B-Man, hope that's uh, good for you, hope that's what you're looking for. Shaving with the cheapest, nastiest razor I can, 6p, or in Canada the conversion would have been 11 cents. Hope you like these videos, um, please share them, please like them, please comment down below, I do respond to a lot of the comments um, and I listen to people what they say about shaving with, so um, yeah, please share, subscribe, okay, have a nice evening.